Hi friends, happy Friday. I don't know about you, but I'm like TGIF. It feels like it's been a long week and I'm excited that the weekend's here. Um, I'm gonna be um, getting ready for a garage sale for next weekend. So, and I haven't done much. I have things set out, but I have a lot of work to do. So that's what this weekend is all about. Okay, so. I put in the caption, I'm using a brush that I like don't use very often, especially not for my entire face. I, I pull it out for certain things, but anyway, I have all my brushes. Um, I did a in-home or in-person um, makeover, and so I had to put all my brushes in my holder, but like, look at, I don't want them to dump out, but I have all my brushes right here, and so... This is the one, it just fell out, isn't that crazy? This brush holder is amazing for our double-ended brushes. So you just wrap it like this and then it's like good to go. That's what I use to wrap all my brushes in. Um, I should say if you are watching this in replay, make sure you're hashtagging replay. Um, let me know what your plans are for the weekend. I would love to know. Um, if you are hopping on, say hi. Hopefully I'm not by myself here. Hey, Molly, I'm getting ready for my for, for your party for the eye look I'm going to do. I thought I would hop on my beauty group to show my quick hack. Um, I am going to feature the buff brush. Now, this is a brush I don't feel like I have ever done an entire highlight and contour with. I'm going to even try blending with it. I saw a lady do it recently, and I know a lot of people that do. Um, it's not one I tend to do. Um, it's a lot more of a dense um, brush, so you can see that they're really packed in there. Um, there's a smaller and a um, bigger end. And I usually suggest this if you want more of a full coverage, or if you have like a, because you have a lot of scarring, or maybe you want a big glam look, whatever. So I just don't use this one that much. I really like a more natural, I keep it pretty light. So that's why I don't use this one very often. But like I said, I saw someone using it to blend and everything, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it out today. So I am going to go in and start just placing my colors. I put all of my makeup in my new um, palette. This is the Vanilla 27, of course, because this is my favorite. So nice. Okay, so I have to do this quick. Like I said, um, Molly has a party going on. She's hosting a party with me right now. And I... I'm going to do an eye look for her friends tonight and um yeah I need to get my face on first so I'm just going to go around and I'm just placing my highlight everywhere where it needs to go and I'm going to blend this later I'm just going to place it all on there so as you can see if you've watched my other videos it's definitely going on a little bit more full coverage it's gonna this brush picks up more product than um than most of the other brushes this one definitely is more full coverage for sure so i'm still putting it on kind of just stippling it all over and I am following, if you are new to this, I do have, this is my cheat sheet. This is what I always call it. It tells you exactly where to put your colors. So let me know if you need it. Um, I have it in our, in our group here. It's on the website too, if you need it. Um. <laughs> where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm in my bedroom. Do you want, you guys, this is my beauty group. I don't care. I'll show you all my secrets, okay? So this is my bedroom. Oh, here we go. So there's my normal bedroom. And let's see if I, yeah, there we go. My husband made me this awesome, it's out of PVC, just like a backdrop thing that I take apart. I actually slide it under my bed when I'm not needing it. And then I have this fun sequency backdrop, but that's all it is. It's just like a little thingy. Let me zoom back in, okay? See, now you can't even tell. <laughs> um, I like to use that for, especially for my parties and stuff. I think it's a little more festive. Um, I'm gonna go in with my, um, this is my brightening shade, and I'm just, I need to not talk too much because I, I gotta get this done. <laughs> I'm gonna just go, my under eyes with this brighter color. 
just to give me a little lift and I'm not blended. Don't worry about this. Like I look little all one color right now because that's what I'm using. I just have my highlight. Now when I add this contour, you're going to be like, whoa, look at this, right? Okay. So I just put my highlight everywhere and there is no right or wrong. You can add, do your highlight first or you can do your contouring second, first, doesn't matter. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my contour. Tonight I'm using Astoria and I'm just going to put it in place here. And you're going to see, like I said, I'm not blending yet, but how this is just going to give my face so much more shape and dimension. I am just putting this in really quick. I got to watch the time. Molly, you're going to have to watch the time for me. So I'm not late for the party. Okay. I'm even going to go, there's like the small end. This see it's a little pointed there. I'm going to get a little bit of contour on there. Just go on the side of my nose here just to kind of thin it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my finger with that brightening shade down the middle. And then I'll blend it all out in a little bit. Now you guys got to see my secret of what my backdrops look like. Okay, so got my contour. Let's try this out. I have never, like I said, I have never blended with the buff brush and we're gonna just try it out. So I like to start with my lighter colors. Uh, and I'm gonna use the bigger one because it's just gonna cover more area. I am just gonna lightly tap it all over just to blend it out. Now you could also do this with the Perfector sponge. That is another option. Just like if you use, like Molly said she did the um, the finger application, you could just use your finger to apply and then use your perfector and blend it out that way. So you don't even need a brush um, for that method. But I do highly suggest that you get one of the brushes or, um, or the perfector, one or the other. They're both made to work with our cream foundation. Um, most people, I've had several people that purchase and they don't get one of the Saint brushes because they already have, you know, some makeup brushes at home and they usually end up coming back to get a um, Saint brush because a lot of the brushes, not all, you might have some, but a lot of the Saint or a lot of like other makeup brushes are more made for um, liquid or powder. And these ones have such nice bristles. They are made to work with this foundation. So if you are like, okay, trying to decide if you should get a brush or not, I say pick one out. I can give you suggestions and you're gonna be happy that you went with a same brush. Okay, I'm just blending. Hey, Cassandra, I'm trying out the buff brush. I like never use this brush to blend. I honestly don't think I ever have. I find it's not as like forgiving as like the buff, not the buff brush, the blush and bronzer brush. So it feels a little bit different on my face, but it's just different, not bad. So I'm still doing that tapping motion. to blend this all in. I definitely want to keep my contour defined here, but it blended it in pretty nicely. Nice. It's kind of fun trying some new brushes, trying some new things out. Okay. I'm just going to deepen right in that back part of my contour. I blended it out a little too much. What are you up to, Cassandra, this weekend? I'm getting ready for a garage sale for next weekend. Okay, so there we go. There's my highlight and my contour. And I'm feeling like pinks today. So I might, I'm gonna do, let me grab another brush out of here. watching the time. Okay. I got like eight minutes. Read your book. Oh, are you a reader? I am not a reader. 
The only books I read are Nicholas Spark books. I'm like, I love my romance novels, not like trashy romance, but you know, like the, oh, lovey dovey, like happy ending always. Love those. What book are you reading? Um, before I put on my lip and cheek, I do want to put a little bit of bronzer on. So I just grabbed my blush and bronzer brush and I'm grabbing some of that um, Bella bronzer with the glow illuminator. And I'm just lightly going. Now I'm not putting my bronzer all over my face. It's only on the spots that I naturally would get some sun. Today we finally had sun. Oh my goodness. It was so nice to see. Okay. So just like warmed me up a little bit. I'm not going too much on my bronzer. Um, I, I don't want to stand out like a sore thumb or anything. Like I just want a little bit of color. Okay. I am going to go in with Hollywood. Get this pretty pink. It is like a, it is a satin, but it has like gold flakes in it. Let me get it close enough. See if you can see it. Oh, maybe you can't see, but there's like gold flakes in there. It's so pretty. So let's do pay. You didn't get, you guys didn't get the sun. So we, I want to say this morning was rainy. Yes, this morning was rainy. I had my umbrella, but then this afternoon, um, I um, help with the crosswalk after school and it, the sun came out. I was in a sweatshirt and I actually started getting like hot. So I was telling my coworker, I'm like, it needs to stay like this because it was feeling so good. Okay, isn't Hollywood such a beautiful pink? If you just need that perfect pink for your cheeks, grab Hollywood. I need to say something because, first I need to say thank you to all of you guys that are here because this month has been an amazing month. I've had so many different makeup classes and um, I was checking my back office and I am hitting a huge goal this month. Um, my biggest, my biggest month ever. Thanks to all of you ladies that are here. And I am $13, $13. So a 10, $13 away from hitting like my biggest bonus that I've ever gotten. So if anyone just needs like one refill or you're thinking about trying out something, Please get it tonight, tomorrow. We have through the end of the month so I can hit this huge goal of mine. So that was my little tangent. But, oh my gosh, I just feel so good. You guys have just blessed me so much. And thank you. So $13 away. I know we can hit it. Like, I know it. My husband was like, just tell your mom to buy something. <laughs> I was like, that's just hilarious. Yes, anyone can order from Molly's party. You guys, I have five minutes. I got to finish talking. I got to finish talking. I'm going to grab that same Hollywood. I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just going to lightly go on my lips. Isn't that pretty pink? Now, you know me. If you've been here long enough, I don't really like matte on my lips. I want to have a little bit. I think you can kind of see the sparkle. I don't know. Maybe you can't. But I like to have more of a, um, a, a gloss. So I'm just going to grab my lip conditioner. This one is always with me. It's peppermint. And I'm just going to coat it over to just add that moisture because I like to have that glossiness so I can go like that. Okay. So that was Hollywood. If you guys like this pink, it's beautiful. Um, and then last but not least, let's put on a little bit of shimmer and shine with my illuminator. And then I need to figure out what colors I'm going to do for my eyeshadows. But sorry, I'm going to go join a different group and do that party for Molly. Um, if anybody, um, what is this brush? Oh. Um, if you want to do a party with me, let me know. I am booking. My May is pretty full, but my summer, especially because I'm off in the summer, um, I can I can do more parties in the summer, which is so awesome. So I'm taking, I'm filling up my June and July and August right now. So if you want to earn some free makeup and um, discount products, let me know. 
Thanks, Cassandra. Okay, so I just used a little bit of Photoshop there so you can see how it's just like catching the light. This is actually one of our Demi, um, uh, Demi brushes that's on discount right now. I think they're all like 20 or 25% off. This is the biggest one. I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but it's really nice. So I use that one for my powder. Um, okay, so there's my look. The buff brush, gotta say it was a good brush to use. So if you want a little bit more of a fuller coverage or just try out a new brush, um, try it. Try it out. The buff brush is good. So I better go. I have a couple minutes to pick out which eyeshadows I want to use tonight. And thank you all for hopping on again. And like, thank you so much for being here. I have such a blast. You guys, I always tell people I have like this little second family and that's what this group is all about. So, um, of course, reach out to me anytime if you want to try anything or need suggestions. I'm here for you and have a fabulous weekend, everybody. See you guys.